Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam Attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluva. Couplet number 861 Chapter the Might of Hatred Kartha Viryarchanan was the son of Kirita Viriga and Sunandai. Kirita Viriga was ruling Kekaya kingdom. When Kartha Viryarchanan was born without hands, the parents became sad. He undertook several penances to get rid of the defect. Due to his penance, he got several hats. Not only this, he was given strong physique and he could intrude into any place like an air. Others were afraid of him because of his strong body and his skill of intruding into any place. One day, he went to take bath in the river Narmada. With the help of his thousand hands, he made the water stagnate and he enjoyed taking bath there. At that time, demon Ravana with 20 shoulders was doing Shiva Puja with the Linga on the upper bank of the river. As soon as he completed his bath in the river, he took back his thousand hands from the water and the river water flowed down further like a flash flood. The flood water swept away all the puja materials that Ravana had kept on the bank of the river. Ravana's army men identified the reason for the flash flood and they in turn informed Ravana of the cause. On hearing the cause, Ravana became angry and he called Karta Viryarchuna for a fight without understanding the strength of him. The ministers of Karta Viryarchuna informed Ravana that their king was not in a good mental state to take up a war at that time and hence he should wait till night. Ravana did not take cognizance of the words of minister of Karta Viryarchuna and he attacked them. Knowing this assault, Karta Viryarchunan got angry and took up a fight. With his thousand hands, he tight held of Ravana, imprisoned him and took him to his town Mahishmati, there Ravana was jailed. Sage Pulastya came to know of this and came to meet Karta Viryarchunan. He told him that Ravana was his grandson and hence he should be released and that was his gift from him. Karta Viryarchunan took pity over the sage's plea and released Ravana. If an enemy is so strong, one should not take up a fight. A war should be taken up against a weak side only. Our Saint Tamil poet Thiruvalluvar explains about this in Thirukural as follows. Valiyarka Mari Tril Wombaga Womba Meliyar Mil Mega Pagai. I recite Valiyarka Mari Tril Wombaga Womba Meliyar Mil Mega Pagai. Having fight with mighty will lead to defeat. Having fight with not so strong will lead to victory. Thank you very much indeed. Nandri Vanakkam.